Darcy and Stacy, the 90-day fiancé twin sisters, live a dramatic and chaotic life. Nonetheless, they both have made an impact on the 90-day fiancé universe and left the viewers with unforgettable memories. While Darcy is still trying her best to find a man who will make a wife out of her, Stacy is already happily married to her Albanian man Florian Sukaj. The mother of two is perplexed and researching her options, even consulting a matchmaker. The latest episodes of their spin-off Darcy and Stacy featured her on a few unusual dates. Nevertheless, it appears that her ex-fiancé, Georgi Rusev, has some serious allegations about their relationship. He has been hoping for a reconciliation with Darcy. However, that's only what we are seeing on their spin-off show, behind the scenes, things are more complicated than that. Georgi revealed to Florian in an Entertainment Tonight online teaser clip, from Monday's Darcy and Stacy season 4 show, that he and Darcy spent the night together few weeks ago in Miami, and he confirmed that Darcy is still in love with him. A couple weeks ago I was in Miami, for somebody who stayed stuff with friends, and um, I called Darcy, and we hang out, have a couple of drinks, and um, me and Darcy cook up. Wow. Despite the fact that Silva had previously turned him down, he was sure in what he was saying. Georgie and Florian also continued discussing about the theater night and their fight and disagreement with Michael Benz, Darcy's annoying friend. Apparently, Georgie is mad that TLC is making Darcy meeting other men for the show and he just want to be left alone in peace so he can be with Darcy again in public. Georgie went on to say that despite their broken engagement, he still loved Darcy so much, and he's willing to wait as long as it takes so they can be together again, in front of the public eyes. All the men that Darcy has supposedly met in Miami, are either clout chasers, who just wanted to join for free to be on the show like, Mike and Cicero. Or paid actors, like Zach, who claimed that he chose celibacy, just to not jump into bed with Darcy, because that will hurt his public image as a coach. Furthermore, Georgie revealed to the cameras that spending the night with Darcy has given him hope that they could reconcile. But that statement was scripted, since he still has to follow the storyline that TLC has paid him to follow. He still has affections for her, and he wants to be back as a main cast member on the Darcy and Stacy show. When Georgie supposedly met Darcy, Stacy and Florian for the first time in Miami on the show, Darcy didn't want to be there, and even rejected his peace offering gift, which was a diamond bracelet. He expressed his frustration that they had not spoken. Darcy had ignored his return to town despite his presence. Everything in that episode was actually a fake drama, made only for the show. TLC is well known for faking storylines and relationships to keep the drama going. Like Angela Deem and Michael Ilizami breakups, or Josh Weinstein and Natalie Mordovsava relationship. And now, Darcy and Georgie are playing their parts as reality TV stars to keep the show going for a couple more seasons. The only thing that is true on the show is that Georgie has really changed. He cut his long hairs, and he looks so handsome with his short hairs. He also stopped being a leech, who was so financially dependent on Darcy, and actually started moving up in the world, by getting his massage clients back, and also by saving money and investing in real estate, which gives Darcy more reason to be with him because he has changed to the better, as she always wished him to be. Thank you for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest 90 Day Fiancé news and gossips. Also, follow us on social media for the latest 90 Day Fiancé memes. Links are in the description below.